God bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 26, and we'll begin reading at verse number 8. And it says, Then said Abishai to David, God hath delivered thine enemy into thine hand this day. Now therefore, let me smite him, I pray thee, with the spear, even to the earth at once, and I will not smite him the second time. And David said to Abishai, Destroy him not, for who can stretch forth his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? Amen. For the second time, David had an opportunity to kill Saul. And for the second time, he spared his life. And he said, I'm not going to stretch forth my hand against his anointed, because who can do that? and be without guilt. God is speaking unto us today about javelins from the pulpit, when unfortunately we have leaders in the body of Christ who use their pulpit not as a place of ministering and health and healing, but they use it as a bully pulpit to inflict damage on their Davids, uh, like Saul, throwing javelins from the pulpit. Um, and God had a word of caution and comfort to the leaders and say, be careful. Don't do that. Come to me, and I will give you the guidance and direction that you need um, to deal with your David. And we're talking about Davids, amen, those who are anointed for the work of the ministry. Um, and God wants to talk to the Davids today. Because we saw on yesterday that when Saul threw the javelin at David, that David escaped from his hand. And that's the thing. If you stay in your proper place in God, the javelins can't touch you. Amen. You will escape from the javelins each and every time. But if you're a David and you are being attacked from the pulpit, javelins are being thrown at you, you have to make sure you stay in the proper place. And that's the place that God would have you to be. You have to continue to be obedient unto the voice of the Lord. You have to continue to serve and do what He would have you to do and not put forth your hand, your tongue, or anything against God's anointed. Because even... Uh, those who are anointed of God make mistakes. God is using nothing but broken vessels in the earth. Amen. And so there's no perfect vessel operating from the pulpit. And so when one goes a little bit of astray and starts throwing javelins, if you're the David who's dodging those javelins, you have to make sure that you maintain the same heart that David has. I'm not going to stretch forth my hand, my tongue, my mind against God's anointed. Why? Because who can do that and remain guiltless? Amen. And so how do you do that? You do it through obedience. You, you do it through humility. You do it through the grace and the mercy of God. You do it by continuing to walk in love. Amen. And as you do that, an anointing is going to be a rele released in your life. A greater anointing that will allow you not only to dodge the javelins, but to refuse the opportunity. Because you're going to have some Abishai's in your life who are going to want to invite you to start taking shots at your leader. But you'll refuse the opportunity and you'll know. Touch not God's anointed and do his prophets no harm. So if you are a David and you have been the victim of some javelin throwing from the pulpit, don't complain about it. Continue to operate in a humility of spirit, doing what the Lord has called you to do, and understand that as you do that, just like David, you will escape those javelins each and every time, and you will have enough love and faith and strength within yourself that even if you have the opportunity to do something in return, you won't do it out of a respect for the office of the anointed, and for the God that you serve. God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged and know that Jesus loves you and his love never fails. Celebrate.